What's this? Actually, uploading this bug to your Let's Play with actual consistency? No, this is impossible! Mage Knight 404, you welcome you back to Let's Play Lufia, Curse of the Sinistrals. Again. Last time, we saved Tia's ass for becoming Lizardman Kibble after going across Grotum and Drawbridge. And now we're on our way to Parcelite. Before we do that, let's go back to El Cid. There is something we can do there. Also, if you notice I sound different, got a new headset. Let's kick ass. There is a title we can get for Tia that involves going to her shop. This is her shop right here. So yeah, Tia Ryan runs an item shop. These are what she, what she has right about now. Buying miracles is cool, guys. You should do it. If you buy items from Tia's shop ten times at any point in the game, after you do that, go talk to Albert. Tia, you finally earned the item store in our title. You've been running around item store for so long, it's about time. Now the gold that you receive from battles will increase by though. Congratulations. Item store earner lets any gold earned by Tia whenever she's in battle increase by 50%. Very nice. Okay, now let's go on and supply to Parceling, the city of water. Oh yeah, look at that place. Beautiful. It's beautiful! Parcelite is a combination of itself, Clemento, and Tamble from the original game, with a bit of the Port Town from the, from the original. <laughs> the Port Town theme. So this is Parcelite. How exciting! It's so much bigger than Elsa. It is pretty impressive. Oh, I hear the Presidential Mansion is beautiful! I can't wait to see it! Tia, we're adventurers, not tourists. Oh, I know. So yeah, let's look around Parcelite for a little bit. This place seems pretty kick-ass. Welcome to the Republic of Parcelite. Welcome to Corneria. Fuck locals. Yeah, with a little manly man labor. Never hurt anyone. Ah, uh, that was nothing. It wasn't that difficult. I mean, monsters, sure, but... Eh. Big and strong. Okay. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> Your name is Pansy. Oh shit. Hey, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, Monster Hunter. La di da. I want to send the woman named Pansy to be a monster hunter. This guy runs an item shop. I suppose. <laughs> Jesus. Right now, his item selection is not the same as Tia's, but it'll grow up in time. Oh, who are you? Hello and welcome. New customer? My name is Jesse. If it has to do with weapons, come talk to me. Nice to meet you. My name is Maxim. Maxim, huh? That's a nice, strong name. You should be my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yes, I'm sure you'll run into each other. He's always looking for other strong warriors to have strength with. Huh. Guess I'll keep it in mind. Jesse runs a weapon shop. There are some things we could get, but I'm broke as hell. There are also some uh, weapons we can't get for characters we don't have. However, there are also some items we can get. A little armor. So I can get this leather robe and this silk dress, and now I'm broke. It's like hyper broke ass. Silk dress gives IP recovery up. Jesse also allows you to trade soul shards. We already went over these. They're the blue, little blue orbs you can get from beating the crap out of monsters that are overkill. Every 30 you collect, you get a reward. So frequent, um, Jesse off and she'll give you stuff. It's very nice. Doop, 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 doop. Hello. I'm drink some Yoo-Hoo. Of you. Hmm. 
You don't say! That got Max's attention! Oh, she's beautiful! Oh, that got Gia's too! Freaking sundary ass Gia! Hello! Hello! Sorry for barging in! Oh. How's it going? Hmm. I'm sure we'll meet her be meeting her sooner or later, I guess. Hello, hello. Hey, you look cool. Huh. <laughs> That's just a good friend, don't worry. Haha, <laughs> get on, Tia. Okay. So that's Jaffe. He was kind of a bit character in the original. Here he has a bit of an increased role, but that role is yet to be seen. Hello. Oh, good manners of this little girl. Not bad. Wow, look at that! Ooh, the parcel at Presidential Mansion is really amazing! Yeah, it's quite a sight. Is that an energy core? It sure looks sure is a lot bigger than the one in Elsid. Yeah, it's one of the three largest in the world, the other two in Bound Kingdom and Grazi. According to the professor, the three together could produce even more energy than they put out separately. Jeez, that's a lot of energy. Really? I wonder what happened to you attach them all to your sword, Maxim. I need a much bigger sword for starters. Yeah, if you tried to cross that, you might wind up in orbit. Yeah, probably best just leave them where they are. Oh, those are, those are nice looking things. I'm sure they won't be coming important later or anything. Oh, hey, it's Pretend Ruben, how's it going? It's true. Eh, don't be so humble, Iris. <laughs> Hello. Hi! How's it going? Told you, man. Da hair! Da hair! Whoa! Wow, what is that? It sure is shiny. It's kind of ugly, though. Is it bronze? <laughs> Nothing so common in vulgar. It's pure gold! Gold? How much did that cost? Oh, I'm about enough to buy the entire city of Postalite, I should think. <laughs> what a waste of money. No kidding. So, uh, this is Roshi's place. Roshi was another bit character from the original game, along the same plot thread as uh, Jaffe. They share kind of a similar one in this game, but again, that's yet to be seen. Hey, I'm no peasant. Oh, don't worry, I think I'll be swimming in cash soon enough. Are you new here? <laughs> Around this town, more or less. <laughs> so yeah, that is one, uh, inspiring statue, yeah! I'm not your admirer's home. Ah, <laughs> uh, these people, I swear. Right, let's keep going up. Doop doop. Hey, Lammy, let me show you something cool. Here you go! Ah! Ah! The snake! <laughs> Take another look! It's just a plain old rope! You're such a wimp! Ah! What an asshole! What a little brat! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, snap. Oh no! It's the line! Run away! Told! Get out of here! Lemony, you have to stop crying. Wait, wait. Listen, Lemony. Teasing is wrong, but you still can't let yourself cry so much. But how come? Isn't it okay to cry when something makes you feel bad? Maybe sometimes. 
but sometimes you've got to be strong instead. Really? If you cry, you're just giving the people teasing you what they want. Be strong, be fearless, and try to change things instead of crying about them. I don't know if I can. You can be strong if you try, and you can start by not crying so much. Okay. Why does that boy dislike that girl so much? Are you kidding? That boy is crazy about her! Then why does he tease her and make her cry? Mm. That's just how stupid boys show that they like girls when they're young. <laughs> I am sure T has been around that block before. So uh, that scene was kind of a direct parallel to the scene in the original when we first entered Parcelate there. You shouldn't tease people like that. Teasing is wrong, just like stealing. How's it going? What's up? How's it going? Did he now? Huh. Well, we knew Albert was big time, but damn. Didn't know he was this big time. Nice water, nice fountain. Of course. Her thing, Sergeant Daniels. Alright. Resin sounds like a cool guy, maybe. Up we go. I don't believe that we've met before. My name is Miles. I'm the president of Parcelite. You're the president? Dude, you look kick-ass! Nice eye patch, mate! It's very nice to meet you. I'm Maxim. So you're Maxim. You're the brave warrior set against Gaudis. My soldiers owe you his life. I cannot thank you enough for that. Thank you. You're welcome! Though, so honestly, I didn't do you much to get a stuffing beaten out of me. Don't be so modest. We did some real bravery. I hope you'll enjoy your stay here in Parcelite. Thank you very much! This Miles guy is actually an entirely new character of this game, completely replacing the original King of Parsley with just a generic old dude. Miles was cool. Love that eye patch. That shit is slick. All right, now we have the time to le try to leave, cause we're done here. Huh. We see there is events to be had. As long as we just keep going forward, we're bound to run into something, right? Thieves! Someone stop them! Oh. Hello. Move it, boy! This is none of your business! Yeah, just stick out of our way and you won't get hurt. No way! I'm not letting you thieves get away! Let's go, mate! Well, looks like we got a hero here! How sweet. Naive and foolish, but sweet. I'm afraid we don't have time for a proper fight, so... Bomb? A BOMB! It's huge! You've got five seconds to get out of here, so move it! Five... Four... Not what was supposed to happen? You must have been sold some bad bombs. How could someone cheat two honest thieves like us? Well, who just had to switch to Plan B? Run for it! Okay. <laughs> How very strange. Shouldn't that explosion have hurt them? <laughs> Guess they were lucky they got a bum bomb. Stop them! <laughs> they get away! Curses! Did you see their faces at least? Yes. I see. That makes things easier. They stole my family treasure, the ruby apple. If you get it back, I'll give you a reward. How about it? Do you think you can do it? Sure, why not? Alright. 
Really? You're really take the job? Thank you. I'll leave it to you then. Are you sure, Maxim? This might be a waste of time. Those thieves were in front of me, and I let them get away. I have to catch them. Yeah, we're heroes after all. We gotta do stuff. Maxim, I saw a strange pair run off towards the Temple of Ender by in a big hurry. That was the thieves they were chasing. Let's go get them! Okay. Let's hurry! So now we go to our second dungeon, the Tambul Abandoned Mine. Big place. Hum da dum 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 dum. This place is huge! Those things could be anywhere! Looks like we got our work cut out for us. I got a lot of important artifacts out of here, you know. Lots of mystic stones and energy cores. There isn't much left these days, but we might still find a mystic stone or two if we're lucky. Say, Professor, is it true that you're one of them who figured out how to harness the power of energy cores? Well, I had a little help, but no, I won't lie. It was mostly my genius. I only figured out how to use energy cores to power devices. I still don't know understand how they truly work. I see. Well, I can't imagine life before energy cores. How do people ever manage? I don't know, why don't you look at the original Luffy too? I'm curious as to where they came from though. Who could have created something so powerful? Well, some people think that they were created by gods long ago. Iris, you know anything about that? The teachings of Runa agree that the energy cores are a creation of the gods. No wonder the professor can't figure them out. The gods? That's nonsense! I'm still sure they were working with some great technolog technologically advanced society of man. Well, we can argue history and theology later. Right now, we've got some thieves to catch. Iris and I will wait on the Exilian. Let's go! So, uh, the basic monsters we're right away are, uh, lizard men. Uh, quickly degraded bosses. Luffy was known for having these, but this is kind of ridiculous. Suddenly disappearing lost lizard men. Max, look! Is that a key over there? It is, but how can we get it? I can get it over there with my cross dash, but I can't cross dash holding the key. <laughs> Leave it to me! I can grab it with my hook shot! Just switch it to me by touching my face on the touch screen. Okay. Then press the X button and use my hook shot. So this is Tia's special attack, the hook shot. I already went over what it does. Basically, you can grab uh, key items at a distance and pull, pull enemies up close. Character select! Checkpoint. It's my turn now! It really does save time just selecting the character over the touch screen. You take this key and you put it there. I think you put the key in here. Yeah, we just did that. Leave it to me! Yeah, put it down in here. Guys, we just did. Excuse me, I've got monsters to beat up, because I have experience to claim, you know. Ow. Maxim's charge ba charged uh, combo attack is good for popping up dudes. Cause all cause it always pops up Maxim himself when you pull it off and uh knock a hit, obviously. Also these crystals we uh, can't do much with right now. It's a station for the minecarts over to the right over there. I don't see any minecarts now. It's my turn now. They mean this. Huh? Ow. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Ow. Huh. Watch out. Huh. Huh. Go away. I can't carry any more potions. We'll see about that. Only nine at a time. Leave Remember that. <laughs> so, uh, dungeons in the original game came in like six flavors, basic flavors, like dungeons, ruins, caves, towers, shrines, and mountains. Hey, Maxim, look over there! What is it? Check out that pole! Um, okay, I'm checking it out. What about it? 
You used my hook shot on it. Really? Yeah, with my hook shot, I can grab that pole and pull myself across this chasm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool? It's totally awesome! You'd be helpless without me, just admit it! Well, it's pretty handy, but I could also just cross this chasm with my cross dash. Ha <laughs> Told. Um... Well, maybe you can do it that this, that this time, Mr. Smarty Pants, but there'll be bigger chasms that you can only hookshot across! Okay, okay, I take it back. It's a really useful ability. Honestly, sometimes I hate you. Sundari ass Tia! God, Jesus! So yeah, these poles. Whenever you see one, just hook shot across it's with Tia. Um Watch out. like that. And you get across. Simple enough. So yeah, um they came in like yeah. several flavors. What you wanna do here is take this bomb and use it to blow up the crystals. The knowledge in this game, they're all unique. They also they all have something to that uh, is unique to them. And again, considering how uh, short this game is compared to the original, it's not surprising really. After you blow up the crystal, just push one of these boxes onto the onto this onto that block there. You, you only push those blocks, by the way. You can't pull them. Oh, hey, look, those are bomb jellies. They take, like, absolutely no damage. Die! Get away, get away! Leave it to me! Because that happens if you don't! I was meaning to roll, but I kept grabbing it. It's my turn now. As you can see, they do a lot of damage to you when they explode. And they infinitely respawn, so that's nice. Whenever you see a bomb jill, they always infinitely respawn. Anyway, we do this to get this. The Featherweight, which is a weapon for Tia. And here's her magic and combo attack level 2. See, I told you it was longer. Here we go! Oop! Oh? Is that Jaffe? Oh, what's we can see you here, Maxim? You're here looking for rubies? Yes, even though they're no longer working this mine, there's still plenty of rubies to be found. Huh. Good luck with that, Jaffe. Hey, a miracle! Anytime you find a miracle in chess, you take it, okay? Gotta move this box box and uh I can't throw it in midair. Damn it. I wanna throw it or something. Here we go. Dope. Watch out. Here we go. Hit the crane. Tia. I like that. Tia. Watch out. Now take this box and put it down. And if you do that early, this happens. This clip is too high. We can't go any further. What should we do? <laughs> Max, my turn to shine has come! Uh huh. Keys are the only thing my hookshot can grab. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that over there! I don't see anything. Because there was a crate there, but we don't have it now. Oh, I forgot to move the box. Oops. So, what are you going to do with it? I can use my hookshot to grab the box over here. Then we can use it to jump through this ledge. How about that? I see. That's amazing, Tia. See? I knew you'd need me. That look show of yours does come in handy. And don't you forget it! So yeah, they explained what I was going to do with it. Take the crate over there, put it in, push it through here. Easy enough. Ha! Oh god, more of those men. Nope. Roll. Look at all that extendo reach. Oh no, another one spawned. How dare you! Q. 
Okay. Yeah. Hey, look, some more we can grab. Hey, look, a switch. But if we hit it, that block rises. We can't. That platform rises. We can't do anything with it. That's why you have to use T to hit it from afar. Oh God, pumpkin heads. These guys are nasty because they can cast fireballs and they do a lot of damage. Also, those bubbles. If they hit, get hit by those, they put you to sleep. Oh, I give up. You okay? He just got thrashed by a critical hit. I really don't like those pumpkin heads, by the way. They're kind of asshole-ish. Nope. Try harder. Nope. When the pumpkin heads goes berserk, they just skip casting spells and just try to attack you. Here we go. Uh, right. Watch out. Just making sure. Do you hear that? Be quiet. Huh. Man, why is the cake key so big? The bigger the better, just like our love, right, Birdie? You're such a romantic, Betty. That sounds like a pair of thieves, right? I think so. Well, who else could it be? This mine is supposed to be abandoned after all. Good point. Hey, who's there? Oh. Looks like they noticed us! Curses! We already have pursuers! Alright, Betty, let's show them our routine! Okay! We are the messengers of love and peace! We are the greatest thieves in all of history! Bernie and Betty! Where's your talking cat? Come on, guys, you gotta have a talking cat in there somewhere. You really have guts to pursue us! We're not gonna handle the ruby apple you doofuses! Uh, that's them, alright! What kind of thieves have a practice introduction routine? You'll never catch us! Give up now before you embarrass yourselves! Let's go, Betty, but first... What? Oh, hey! You never get us off the ki key! That's my birdie, you're a genius! <laughs> I already know that, let's go! Ah, uh, that's cheating! The door opened for them way too long! They got away! Would have made more sense for them just to, to, to keep with them. I don't think those two are the brightest around. I'm going to agree with you. Anyway, after them! So yeah, Birdie and Betty, that's, they're kind of an interesting case in this game. Originally, they were two male thieves. Birdie was actually the blue-haired one. Whereas the what Birdie is now was his name was originally Bart and he was just an apprentice. They weren't they weren't like true equal partners. Birdie was the mastermind behind all their schemes. Don't know why he decided to go with the change Birdie's gender and swap around his design for the result of Betty. But uh, I don't know. They're still hilarious as all get out, though. They had similar shenanigans in the original. And while they don't steal the ruby apple in this in that in the original plot line, they did try to steal something else. Leave it to me. Anyway, I fell, so we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do the whole item thing again. Here we go. Take this with you. Yeah. Pick it up and put it down. Then you can use this as a platform to get up here. Leave it to me. Please go away. I'm not in the mood for shenanigans. Huh? Oh Jesus. Oh. Damn it. Didn't roll all the way fast enough. 
Nope. Freaking. Ah. Freaking pop up. I'll pop you up. Ah, that's it. How you like it? You're next. <laughs> Whatever, screw it. Stay down there. I don't care anymore. Oh yeah, there was that up there, wasn't there? You can jump to get that. Let's see if I can. Watch out! Oop. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I guess you would call this Here not this go. dungeon faffing about. Here we go. A little more so than that of uh Watch out. Drawbridge. Here we go. Will you go away? Do you know who I am? Okay, it's dead. Watch out! Good, don't spawn anymore. Okay, okay. Move it here. That's a bit obnoxious. Watch out! Ah, I knew I could get across. There's a raincoat! Uh, it's worse than what we have. But it does boost water resistance, but it's worse than what we have from both characters. Oh well. It may have been a colossal waste of time! But them's the brakes. Anyway, take this crate and put it to where the key is. So you can take the key and use the crate to get up here. Then you can do that. No, you can advance. Yeah, here we go. And there's a miracle. Leave it to Onward then. <laughs> 